Right now, new details after a deadly fire in Watertown last week as the community there remembers the three lives that were lost. Also, is the flex lane making commutes faster? What viewers and the DOT are saying about its impact on traffic. And bringing broadband to the entire state of Wisconsin, the new multi-million dollar funding that's helping make it possible and where it came from. Welcome to News 3 Now at 6. Good evening, thanks for joining us. We begin with continuing coverage out of Watertown where three people were killed in a house fire last Friday. The Watertown Unified School District Superintendent confirming today the three victims were students in the district. Crews responded to the fire in the 100 block of Western Avenue just after 12.30 a.m. on Friday. There, they found the house engulfed in flames. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Right now, members of the community are gathering for a vigil for those three students. Well, that's where we find our Armand Rahman who joins us live. Armand? Yeah, you can tell how, uh, you know, tight-knit the community is here as uh, you can see how deep that grief and heartbreak runs through the members here tonight as they're gathered out here together to remember the young lives lost. And what's also grown is the memorial strung outside the house. In the hour we've been here, people young and old continue adding flowers, balloons, and stuffed animals. Today, police, the state fire marshal, and other investigators comb through the scene trying to find out how and where that fire started. And it's important to note that the Watertown police said in a least today they won't officially identify the three victims uh, removed from that house yet as they plan ha to have the autopsy tomorrow that's also when news 3 now will hear more from the watertown superintendent for now live in watertown armand rahman news 3 now armand thank you now if you'd like to help the families at this time a gofundme page has been established so far it has raised more than fifteen thousand dollars the goal of twenty five thousand you can find a link to that page on our website channel 3000.com well, let's check your certified most accurate forecast. Julian Seawright joins us. Julian? It's still rather cloudy, but we are looking at some wind starting to pick up just a bit as we head into the rest of our Monday nights. Now taking a look outside. As you can see, that cloud cover is blanketed and gone nowhere over the last few days, and it's going to stay that way throughout much of this week as well. So don't expect sunshine here in Madison or for southern Wisconsin. Temperatures, however, will stay rather steady into the mid-30s throughout the rest of the early parts of tonight, and especially heading out the door for our Tuesday morning morning. But temperatures right now we're looking at 37 in Platteville, 35 for Janesville. Again, we're all looking pretty standard in terms of being in the middle to upper 30s as we head into the rest of this evening. Temperatures will fall to around 33 for Platteville and for Janesville, but overall things are not going to be overly cold. But what we're watching for are the changes that will be coming in late Tuesday. A storm system looks to bring in some impacts that could really make things messy for us later into the week. We'll walk through these impacts in just a few moments. Until then, back to you guys. Julian, thank you. If you are a regular driver on the Beltline, you've probably noticed and talked about a change in traffic flow. The flex lane has transformed Madison's main commuter route, and don't worry, the Department of Transportation has eyes on the drivers using it incorrectly. Dahlia Mohadeen joins us live with the update. Eric and Charlotte, even though more people than ever are using the Beltline, the Travel time is trending downwards, and while officials from the DOT say it's too soon to say for sure what role the flex lanes played in all of this, the data is looking good so far. I like it, the flex line, yeah. Since they opened late this summer, the extra lanes between Whitney Way and the I-3990 are cutting down commuter travel time with each passing month. It helps with traffic. I like that money's going into infrastructure and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to see more of that stuff. The latest data from the Department of Transportation this October shows Beltline drivers are spending up to 60% less time on the road than the same time in 2019. It's a welcome change for many. If you're trying to, you know, get out of traffic and get past the slow drivers who driving under the speed limit which I'm getting tired of going around you know slowing traffic down you know I seen a lot of car accidents happening uh, due to uh, people not driving at the right speed limit one complaint not every driver uses the flex lane as intended during peak times it can be a little bit scary when people are using it when it's not open because they're usually going really fast <laughs> around like uh, around me or around somebody else and, and just using it to fly through traffic. 
People are dumb, some people I guess are gonna do that, but I'd rather have it than don't have it because it actually helps. DOT officials say they know there are those who abuse the flex lanes, but say most are doing it right. They also reported fewer crashes this year from August to October, going from more than 160 over those three months in 2019 to 135. It's these positive trends that's got some drivers wanting the flex lanes to stay open even longer. We need more of that in, you know, in other places as well, you know. Uh, I wish they can keep that, that green thing going all night too sometime. Officials say they try to keep the flex lanes open during travel peak times in the morning and afternoon at least 90% of the time. So far, they've just about reached that goal. Reporting live near the Beltline, Tehlin Hedin, News 3 Now. Tahlil, thank you. Madison police are investigating after a man was shot in an apartment on the city's north side. Officers were sent to a department. This was in the 2500 block of Calypso Road just after 530 p.m. on Friday. Police say a 36 year old man was shot in the hallway of a building there. He was taken to a local hospital after officers gave life saving aid. According to police, the victim and shooter knew each other and were in an argument prior to that shooting. A theater group in Milwaukee working to reschedule a Patti LaBelle concert after it was postponed mid show Saturday due to a bomb threat. Spectators at the show say LaBelle was just a few songs into the show when security rushed her off stage. Several roads were blocked off. Fans were sent home after about a three hour sweep of the theater. Police said there were no explosives found and there was no threat to the community. Now the Pabst Theater Group says it's working on rescheduling. Milwaukee police say the investigation is quote fluid and ongoing. One person is injured after a car crashed, split in half, and burst into flames. This happened at Milwaukee's Mitchell International Airport around midnight. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says a man in his 30s suffered minor external injuries and possible internal injuries. He was taken to a hospital for observation. The Sheriff's Office also confirmed that Narcan was used at the scene. The cause of the crash is under investigation. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call is asking the Federal Communications Commission to help cut down on unwanted text messages. An FCC proposal would require mobilist wireless providers to block text from unvalid, unassigned, or unused numbers. A coalition of 51 attorneys general want the FCC to push the wireless industry to develop call authentication technology for text messages. In 2020, scammers stole more than $86 million through fraud done via scam text messages. Wisconsin could see more than a billion dollars invested in broadband expansion, expansion, all coming from a federal grant. But first, the state has to figure out how to spend it, and the governor announced today he received a $5 million grant to create that plan, as political reporter Will Keneally explains. That's right. So the federal funds have to be used with equity in mind as the state plans to expand broadband access. And it coincides with existing grants at the state level in an effort to connect all Wisconsinites to the Internet. Governor Tony Evers announced that grant today from Milwaukee. It means more business owners can get their products online. Our seniors can stay connected to their families. Telehealth can grow. This is really about us being able to coordinate with our local partners to find how to best come up with our digital equity plan. So the chair of the state's Public Service Commission says that working with local partners to develop this plan will make sure that there aren't duplicate efforts. And she added that the equity component ensures that all Wisconsinites will get access without geographic uh, areas being favored over another. Wisconsin will find out just next year how much federal infrastructure money it will receive. The Special Olympics are heading to UW-Whitewater next year for the state summer games. It is scheduled to take place June 8th through the 10th. Competitions include powerlifting, gymnastics, track and field, tennis, soccer, and more. More than 1,800 athletes and coaches will be at the games. Volunteers are needed, and you can find more information about that on specialolympicswisconsin.org. Coming up, the rise in respiratory disease cases is putting a strain on hospitals. When we come back, where urgent care workers say they don't want people to go if they think they're sick. Stay with us. up your home for the holidays at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Add color and cheer to your home this holiday season with stylish seasonal decor during our holiday sale. Let us brighten your room with unique accessories and great savings during the holiday sale going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC.
Brothers Maine has been family owned since 1938. Some of us were born into this family and others chose to join through the years. Now we know you can't replace family, but you can replace appliances and Brothers Maine is here for you when one breaks down. Our in-house team has delivered ranges to washers, to refrigerators, to hectic households in a pinch, oftentimes the next day. Just because an appliance breaks down doesn't mean you have to. We're not big box, we're Brothers Maine. And we want you to feel like family here. There's no place like home for the holidays, but it isn't quite the same when your house is cold and drafty. We want everyone to have the gift of a warm and comfortable home. So we're going to match the $500 energy tax credit with a $500 discount. But you have to call us before December 31st. 2023 is the year to stop freezing and start saving. So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving because you keep saving. USA Insulation. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Dress up your home for the holidays at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Add color and cheer to your home this holiday season with stylish seasonal decor during our holiday sale. Let us brighten your room with unique accessories and great savings during the holiday sale going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back with hospitals seeing a surge in patients. Five major Madison area health care systems now are asking people to stay home if they're sick with a respiratory illness. That's only if they're otherwise healthy and able to manage symptoms at home, as Braden Ross explains. Eric and Charlotte, hospitals are overwhelmed with the trifecta of flu, RSV, and COVID, leading to extra long wait times in urgent care and emergency rooms around the area. Doctors told us today a nursing shortage is playing into the issue and burnout continues to be a major, major factor in the healthcare industry with fewer registered nurses available to help with inpatient services. Burnout is still real in healthcare and we're trying to do all we can to mitigate that so that we keep our employees and our staff healthy and, and, and continue to give the good care that they give. But staying at home and not being able to get a doctor's note could be problematic for some employees. Coming up at 10, I talked to a labor attorney about how this could set up a confusing gray area for employees and employers alike. Braden, thank you. And still had a cheesy sculpture looks to attract attention in Title Town. Plus, as part of the 12 days of giving, News 3 now reaches out to help a family that left everything behind in their native country of Ukraine. Plus, could we see any snow this week? Julian takes a look at his complete forecast when we come back. Steinhoffel's holiday sale is going on now. Steinhoffel's has all the latest styles in stock and ready for delivery. We have something for every style and every budget. Start with store-wide savings of 35 to 50% off. And for a limited time, make your purchase more affordable with Steinhoffel's 72-month financing. It's Steinhoffel's holiday sale. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. And what I love about Plexiderm is this is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. And I did this to my father, we were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. It's a cream, it's a topical, it literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes, on your fine lines and wrinkles, and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs>
this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference, I have so many dark circles. I have the puffiness. I have the lines. Like, it's amazing. You have an event. You have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself. I am telling you, the videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This holiday season is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. News 3 Now's 12 Days of Giving kicks off today as we team up with local nonprofits to answer the wishes of 12 area families. You've met today's family before, Ukrainian refugee family, the Romanchenkos. Fleeing war in Ukraine, we're helping them take another step to feel at home here in the Madison area. It's been a long year for the Romashenko family. Slava and Natalia Romashenko and their 15-year-old daughter, Lyra, have been here since April, leaving Ukraine because of the Russian invasion in February, and with it, leaving everything behind. We miss our family because now we're alone here. Since coming to the Madison area, Renee Lushine with the Stoughton Resettlement Agency has been helping them settle in. We have resettled um, now nine families. We have two more on the way. With the 12 Days of Giving initiative, News 3 Now reached out to Renee to see if they had any families in need. They've been through a lot. One thing they desperately needed was a car that was going to be reliable to get back and forth from work and school. How are you getting around now? Congo Civic. It's the car. <laughs> it's so snowy. For Lyra, one thing was missing. She does a lot of anime and um, kind of Japanese type of artwork, and she does it all on her phone. It's beautiful artwork. So we went to work and reached out first to Andy Bush, general manager of Kunis Mitsubishi of Madison. On behalf of Kunis Mitsubishi of Madison, the Kunis Auto Group, and the Kunis Family Foundation, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. <laughs> we happy. <laughs> we happy. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your husband <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Not from the city. <laughs> I think I had a 2014 Equinox. Um, perfect for today. I just drove it here in the weather and it got here really easily. We certainly love to, to change people's lives with vehicles um, and get them good service, but more than that, um, to give back to the communities we're in in the surrounding areas. Then it was Lyra's turn. We heard, we heard that you were an artist. Oh, yep. And you may need a computer to draw your thing oh, instead yeah. of a phone. So on behalf of News 3 Now, we want to present you with a new laptop. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you to, to News 3 for having, you know, the 12 days and, and approaching us and the resettlement organization for what they do because we love to give back. So with, without partners like you guys, we couldn't do what we do either. So thank you. And News 3 now appreciates Kunis Mitsubishi of Madison for granting this wish. If you or your business would like to be a part of the 12 Days of Giving and help a family, go to channel3000.com slash 12 days and sign up to be a donor. Well, check this out. Aerial footage of the market town of Tunbridge in southeast England after getting blanketed with snow. Now, this disrupted airports, train networks, and the roads in London, while two coal plants were put on standby in case of a power crunch over the winter months. Airports there are warning the conditions could disrupt more flight schedules. Still a bit of snow left over here from last week. Will we see more? Well, here's Julian with your complete forecast. Well, not tonight, but we could start to see some later into the week. But let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be dealing with. Cloudy conditions, but dry and quiet is what we're going to be having for us here in southern Wisconsin. But what we're going to be watching for is you can see plenty of weather bulletins coming in from Wyoming and to parts of the northeastern sector of Colorado are stretching across the Great Plains and into the upper mid 
Midwest. And even for us here in Wisconsin, the northern parts, we're looking at winter storm watch and winter weather advisories in effect for this system that's going to be rather robust and bringing in an abundance of moisture for us. Now, as we take a look at what we're going to see as of right now, it's over towards the Great Plains. We're seeing from Wyoming to Colorado some snow as it's going to continue to slowly advance into the upper Midwest. When at first, we're going to start to see plenty of rainfall getting into our Tuesday night. Outside of that, folks, it's going to be quiet, but winds will start to intensify as you're heading out the door for our Tuesday morning. We're going to be looking at cloud cover to still be stubborn for our morning hours, but the winds themselves will be rather bit breezy and then going to be windy by the time we get into the noontime hour. Around 3 o'clock, though, this is when we're going to start to see some developments into the far southwestern corridor of southern Wisconsin of rain starting to trickle its way into southern Wisconsin. So about a 5 p.m. commute, if you are southwest of Dane County, we are going to be looking at rain to really impact our evening commutes for us. But Dane County, we're not going to be seeing too much of that rain, though it will start to be more widespread by the time we get into our 8 p.m. hours and then into the overnight. Transitioning into our Wednesday, since temperatures are going to stay above freezing, we're looking for all rain for us here in southern Wisconsin. But you can note areas just north of the Dells and even for Camp Douglas, we're looking at a bit of some wintry mixes and snow. That's really where we're going to see the concentration of any kind of snowfall from this system, at least through Wednesday. Because Wednesday afternoon, we are looking for a period of of some dry conditions could see a couple of spot up showers, but then it starts to recollect itself once we get into around the 5 p.m. hour. And that's what we're looking at multiple bands of rain starting to roll its way in. But by the time we get into our Wednesday night, temperatures are going to shift into colder side closer to the freezing point. So we're going to be looking at bands of snow starting to develop by the time we get into the overnight and for a Thursday morning. Outside of that, though, our best opportunity to see any kind of snow will be for Thursday and for Friday. Friday, but make sure that you're taking plans just in case because things are going to be rather slippery and on top of it wet from our Tuesday nights going into our Wednesday and Thursday night as well. And here's a look at the rain. The rain is going to be the biggest story for us because we are looking at an abundance of it. Some areas could see one and a half to two inches of rainfall from the latest model run for us in areas just to the further northeast near Watoma could see even more significance now. But for terms of snow, we're looking just for trace amounts, maybe even an inch areas to the far north could see significant snow totals from this system. But for us, we're looking for it to mainly be in a rain event. And then snow will be just an added flavor as we get into the rest of the week. Once we get into the weekend, we do have some opportunities to see some breezy and or flurry conditions, but the cold is going to be our next story as we are going to plummet heading into next week as temperatures fall into the teens and our overnights will be into the single digits. Over to you. Thank you, Julian. The city of Green Bay unveiled a very cheesy sculpture today. It reads, I heart GB in green and gold with a heart of cheese. The steel sculpture is nearly 10 feet tall and weighs 1,200 pounds. It's on the city deck boardwalk and promenade along the Fox River. The goal is to promote the city with visitors taking photos with the sculpture and riverfront backdrop and posting them on social media. A tourism official noted the state produces nearly 3.4 billion pounds of cheese every year. And coming up in sports, Bucky is back in the polls where the Badgers sit after two big conference wins. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Go farther with personal checking choices. At Starion Bank, you make the decisions. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. Upgrade any space and maximize storage with great closet systems at Menards. Make your storage your own with Dakota Closets. They feature a great selection of custom sizes and styles to match your specific needs. Dakota Closets are easy to set up and are great for hanging clothes and storing accessories in any room of your house. Save big money on Dakota Closets. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Four seasons, greetings to you all from Menards. There are still too many bad burgers out there. So Arby's is running that Wagyu Steakhouse Burger back. Arby's, we have the meat. Hey, there's my girl. Mm. Who's that? Life.
life can be uncomfortable. Your home doesn't have to be. Whether you're looking for all the advanced features or something with a lower upfront cost, with Ream Heating Equipment, you can stay comfortable even in the most uncomfortable situations. Oh, come on. Yes, let's go. Feel the Woolers difference. Call Woolers Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer. Now choose from a great selection of new Ford vehicles in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select Ford vehicles. So much. Lock in your rate and you're protected. I'm proud of you, kid. And that's how Ford is helping you shine bright. This season, get into a 2022 Explorer SUV with 2.9% financing for 60 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. Go farther with personal checking choices at Starion Bank. Like smart checking, it's free when you choose e-statements. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. Tomorrow, we'll take you to an historic home in the 608 where the holiday spirit's on full display. Plus, our question of the day has your chance to win tickets to the Harlem Globetrotters. And the next storm system moving into southern Wisconsin. We're timing out the rain and snow from 430 to 7. After a week where Wisconsin handed then 13th ranked Maryland their first loss of the season, then went to Iowa City and came back to Madison with an overtime win, the Badger men's basketball team is back in the top 25. Wisconsin makes their season debut in the polls at number 22. They're one of six Big Ten teams ranked this week. UW's off until Thursday when they host Lehigh. Nick Herbig had one of a heck of a final season at Wisconsin. The Badger outside linebacker led the Big Ten in both sacks and tackles for loss, which landed him on the all-conference first team. Herbig was also named first team all-Big Ten by the AP, and then on Monday, they tabbed him a third-team All-American. The Badger Jr. announced over the weekend that he's foregoing his senior season at UW and declaring for the NFL draft. A week after putting his name into the transfer portal and then exploring his options, Michael Furtney has removed his name from the portal and announced he will return to Wisconsin. Furtney posted the news to Twitter saying, quote, I believe in the vision of my coaches have for this team. I'm excited to get back on the field with my brothers. Remember, he started eight games at right guard last season for the Badgers. Another week, another series sweep for the Badger women's hockey team, and that performance helped Wisconsin hold serve at number two in the country as they skate into their holiday break. Big part of their success in Mankato was the play of Layla Edwards. The UW freshman forward tallied three assists on Friday and a goal on Saturday to earn WCHA Rookie of the Week honors. What a season it was for Wisconsin volleyball. The Badgers won their fourth straight Big Ten championship, posting a 19-1 record in the toughest conference in the country. They had Advanced to the Sweet 16 for the 10th straight time, and Saturday was their fifth consecutive trip to the Elite Eight. Unfortunately, their run back to the Final Four came up short, but Daniel Hart knows that this program, no doubt, will be back. But what I told them is that this program will win another one. It's uh, multiple. It's that Wisconsin volleyball has, year after year, continues to just create magic. Um, the way we go about things, the culture, the people, it's just magical. Every season's magical. Um, and we'll continue to do special things. Tough way to end, but they'll be back. It's just a weird feeling mm -hmm. to see them have their season right. end. They were so, so good. Mm -hmm. Final check with Julian. No, things are going to get messy for us over the next couple of days. Just be prepared to bring out your rain gear and then be prepared for some snow by the time we end the work week. Then the cold is going to be right behind the snow that's falling for us as we'll go from the 20s to the teens. Dex, thanks for joining us at 6. Enjoy your evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.